Okay, we're back on top of the train. Okay. So there's a hole down into that. Can we go any further forwards? No, just jump straight down the hole. <laughs> it's like there's a passenger cabin below. Jump down through the crack, yes. Of course there's a zombie in there. Hello? <laughs> Do you want to lock onto him, Rebecca? Can't carry this item up. Well, <laughs> if you wanted a knife, you can get one. So she can have a knife. Okay, so clearly we're going to need to grapple again. He's dead, dead. He's dead, dead. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, the door's blocked by all these eggs. You're not going to be able to uh, go out there. I told you they would hatch into those stupid leaky things. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want to go out that door just yet. What is this? Okay, it's not a wedding ring. It's going to be the ring to open the other box, isn't it? Trouble is, we don't have the room to carry it. Okay, so these are yours, Billy. I'm leaving you some bullets in here. Okay, I'm guessing I'm supposed to go as Billy now. Can I just grapple out of here? Like, surely she could just grapple out of here. You can't use this right now, okay, so we're going to have to get Billy to come save her. Looks like a case of holding jewellery. It has the other half of the ring to open the briefcase. The Elden Ring, of course. Finally crafted silver ring. It looks painful to wear. Like, literally just stabbing into your finger. I don't think I want to wear that. But it's finely crafted. <laughs> but it's very painful. Okay, Billy, you are clearly going to be fighting a boss, right? He's just sat here, chilling downstairs. This is fine. Right, so he's going to have to go all the way back up. Let's just simplify the situation a bit. Does it matter which side it goes from? I'm going to go this way, because then you can pick up the shotgun shells on the way and <laughs> then fight that wave of annoying little leech monsters. Uh, if only he had some sort of flamethrower. He's got petrol. <laughs> it does seem like maybe burning them would be smart. But he doesn't have a light... Or does he? Am I stupid? Does he have a lighter? He has a goddamn lighter! Of course he does. Of course he does. <laughs> Lighter appears to be out of fuel. It's, it, it's funny about that, isn't that? You know. <laughs> oh, you have a big thing of petrol. It's not the right kind of... It's not lighter fluids. It's just petrol. You can't use petrol in a lighter. <laughs> Maybe you can. It just might be very dangerous. But, you know, he could, like, pour the petrol over and the spark from it can ignite it. He might burn his hands a bit trying, but it will work! <laughs> Can set fire to things. Okay, at least we haven't screwed up too badly. Oh look, leeches. Oh look, the leeches are everywhere. Oh look, the leeches are gonna come and attack our face. Oh. <laughs> or you can just walk out the door, because it was just saying, hey, everything's fine. Hi, fancy eating you in here. Um, can we? I said exchange, not exchange. I meant to click exchange. Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Okay. That made the situation a lot easier than having to drop things and pick things up. <laughs> Again, we could have just turned it upside down and this thing would have fell out of it. Because it's just like... 
Oh, look, there's a thin card in it, and it would have fallen straight out of that briefcase if you'd have just turned it upside down. <laughs> but do not just not poke holes in it. <laughs> uh, if we wanted, we could give Billy a new knife, but we're just going to leave the knife there. We don't really need it, I don't think. No, it, it, we'll be fine without it. Okay. But before we leave the room, you are now going to follow. Come with me. You want to live. And we're going to go back out <laughs> and around again. Let's go around in circles again. Squish all of these things, right? It's nice that we can just stomp on them and they go splat. Rather than killing us. What do you oh no, they're attaching to his face now. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. The first one went splat, and then I was wondering when I stood on the others and they weren't going splat, what happened to them. They just teleported onto him, that's fine. <laughs> Didn't kill him too much, I'm sure. Did we pick up the ammo? Was it just one shotgun shell? Yeah, I think we left it because it was just one shotgun shell, right? Okay, that's fine. Um, you don't need any more pistol ammo. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You've got plenty. We can just drop stuff on the floor if we don't need it. But we're gonna get rid of this keycard pretty much immediately. So we're gonna have some more infantry space. Then we can think about who carries what. <laughs> And you know that these guys are going to come alive at some point. You sure about that? <laughs> you don't need this right now. I'm just right in front of the card reader. I think we do. <laughs> okay, the door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. <laughs> no, we don't need this right now. Doesn't work. Oh, but we need it. Oh, we don't need this anymore now. It's Wesker does not make any sense. and Birkin. Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Also, destroy the train. Is he meant to be stars at this point? Because I thought he was meant to be a scientist at this point. If he's working with Birkin. About ten minutes to. Huh? Ten minutes to. Huh? Okay, <laughs> he got eaten by leeches. Okay, they both got eaten by all the leeches. And they're gonna become super awkward leek monsters, right? Full of armor. <laughs> and probably what we're about to fight, right? I imagine we are about to fight them. Are you prepared? I'm not prepared. <laughs> They're going to be leech monsters in full armor that are going to be horrible to deal with. We've taken control of the train. They were literally out here, right? There's some healing that we've left behind, actually. We don't need it. <laughs> train is quickly picking up speed. Also, like, don't mind the dead guy that's right under your feet. It's more about the train picking up speeds. No way to fix it. Good. <laughs> it's not like we wanted to stop this train at all. It does seem to have entirely eaten their armour though, because they're not armoured anymore now that they're dead on the floor. <laughs> little oversight, but, you know. <laughs> the train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. <laughs> How to run a train? Uh, using the red control, the following steps are necessary. Well, there was a bit right at the back of the train, wasn't there? That needed the key card instead of the brake. I raise the controls. The brake controls are located in the following locations. The driver's compartment, the rear of the fifth car. To the system, you must first insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. The power supply, both sets of controls. Enter the rear deck codes to release the lock. 
Half distance bow department can be entered. Okay, so we're going to need to separate again. Enter the code for the driver's compartment. Okay, and then it can be used. Who will stay behind? You can stay here, Rebecca. You've not got any inventory space. <laughs> I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. And we've got more ammo. But we haven't got a shotgun. <laughs> Hello, Su Yen! How's it going? It, the audio is better now, yeah, since I fixed it, but it wasn't working that day. Um, I feel like the train is quickly picking up speed. I feel like there might be a magnetic keycard or something I need from this room before I run to the back of the car and realise we don't have the item that we need. <laughs> yeah, there it is! That might be helpful to take with us! <laughs> um, I have no preparations for the new year. How about yourself? Any preparations? We're just gonna sit and chill there. There's ammo on what are you doing, Billy? There's ammo under there. Like she has a shotgun, she doesn't need that. <laughs> Any preparations for the new year yourself? Um you're on night you see. Okay, well hopefully it goes well. You do get to see in the new year, but I knew they'd come back alive. Like he was literally not alive like two seconds ago. Don't just mash your face into him, Billy. <laughs> it's not useful. That does not help. Still thinking what to cook. How do you cook something special for New Year's then? Because, um, you know, that's not normally a thing here that we don't like have any sort of special New Year's meal. We just, you know, more alcohol and just like, you know, they're alive! Oh, were they the people that just ate us? Nope. There he is. There's your friends. He wasn't our friend, so it's fine. I bet if Rebecca had been running through, she'd have been like, Oh no, you're back alive. <laughs> and now you're a zombie. Yeah, we really don't do a lot of special. We just count down the time and then drink alcohol at midnight. <laughs> That's... A lot of zombies, and I don't have the ammo to necessarily deal with that. So have you got much plans, or are you just like sorting everything out at the moment? This is way too many zombies. <laughs> like... Damn you, get off my face! There were not many zombies here before. You, I thought you were dead. Oh, he's still not dead. <laughs> Better run, exactly. And we're running out of ammo. Oh, no. I might have wanted to pick up that knife. <laughs> it might be time to... Oh, we've left Kitchen Man alive as well. That's a problem. <laughs> there is a zombie... So, like, he's just stars. I think I'm just gonna have to run through them. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to just run through them. Get off his face, exactly. <laughs> Get off my face. Also, we don't know the password to the, um, the thing. Yeah, this guy is... It's perfectly fine. He doesn't care, actually. <laughs> he didn't want to know us at all. <laughs> Okay, nothing new appears in there. I was expecting dogs. Okay, maybe we might get through this just yet. Right, time to pick up this knife that we left back here. Because <laughs> now that we don't have ammo, we're going to need it. <laughs> we have a magnetic card. Put it in, Billy. Okay. Um. Are 
Wiggles. Maths. Okay. <laughs> Why go through the door? I wanted him to do all the stupid thing. <laughs> like, we haven't been told a code. So, how was I meant to know? Okay, so what we need to do is play Countdown and just be like, Maths to make 81 in a certain number of e presses. Okay, so there are several things, right? So 9, 17, 26, 34, 43, 51, 60, 79, 78, 81. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Engage the control device. Scary game! But well, it is a zombies game, so. <laughs> and the train is probably gonna crash. <laughs> I'll put the brake on now. Um 36 in okay, so we have to do half as many. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. <laughs> You watch the movie! The movies are probably a lot scarier. <laughs> and we didn't have a lot of time left to, to map that one out and it was like, we're not going to show you the numbers, you just got to figure it out yourself now. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's a crash. Oh, I hope we can still get the stuff that we left all over the floor. Because we left some herbs, we left some save things. <laughs> we left a lot of nice stuff on that train. <laughs> Five years ago, it has been a while since the movies, hasn't it? They've probably been separated. Well, this is what happens when you're sitting on the back of a train that's literally just been derailed. <laughs> you're lucky if you live through that. Rebecca. Okay, we've probably just lost all the healing stuff that we left all over the floor. Are you all right? <laughs> hey, you managed to stop the train. Yes, we managed. I don't know. <laughs> Did breaking make any difference? It crashed either way. Well, that was sudden. It's like <laughs> all of a sudden there's zombies everywhere. At least he was quick at reacting. Really? Oh, you're out of ammo. <laughs> of course, he's out of ammo because he has no ammo left. <laughs> I wonder if that stuff all over the floor is the stuff that we left on the train. Or if it's new stuff. Okay, shotgun shells. There's some... Now, this is just new stuff. And Gary, there's now... That's a knife. That's some engravings. Billy, you might want that green herb. That's some more engravings. But we had a combined herb, right? That we left on the floor. Okay, no worries. Have fun on your rounds, and I appreciate you popping by. Hopefully you have a nice rest of your day. Yes, the sound is working this time. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. We are completely out of ammo. Oh, no. Oh no. Ironically, we still need this hook shot, apparently. Right. Billy, you can hold on to this. Even though there's no way you can use it because you're too fat for it. But then I can pick up some items at least. And as we have no <laughs> bullets, I might as well use this knife. I might as well use this knife. Okay, right. I mean, it might be that those are the stuff that we left on the train. I don't know. I don't think it is. There's definitely no way back onto the train. That's for a fact. <laughs> I'll right. check over there. Yeah. This way. Okay. Okay, that's the easier way of getting them to come with you. 
Right, so this is the main door, the other one's locked. I'm not even going to go to the other one. We probably should go shotgun first, but... <laughs> we'll be fine. I suppose there's no safe point. There's probably a safe room here, right? Well, that's a big hole. <laughs> oh, it's a sewer. Of course, it's Resident Evil. <laughs> Down into the sewers! Yeah, I don't like that it's constantly vibrating the pads when you run in the sewers, though. Like, you know, it isn't even vibrating when you're close to danger. Like, the vibration hasn't been working up until that point. <laughs> and then it's like, your pad's just going to vibrate as you walk through the sewer water, because, you know, vibrations. You're getting some sort of feedback from the sewers. But, yeah, normally you tell me when I'm injured or something. Not when <laughs> things in the scenery are moving. Sistine Chapel. Oh. Are we in the mansion? This is how she gets into the mansion. Yes, that was the guy that was on the train. Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> Who are you? It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train too. In the mansion? This is meant to be a prequel! <laughs> umbrella. I don't think it's got its timeline phase at points. He just summons a leech monster. <laughs> oh, did it become the guy? <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> Can we just slice through this? <laughs> I don't. I like that his face is just like, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Just slice of that painting. <laughs> is this meant to be a different mansion? Like it's, it's kind of got the layouts of the mansion. It's looking a little worse for wear though, <laughs> and. Mm. But, you know, wasn't the mansion nuked from orbit or something? <laughs> well, not nuked from orbit, but it blew up! The mansion definitely blew up. Right, I need to, unfortunately, crawl back through the sewers. Maybe? Um... <laughs> and figure out... Right, so this is... Climb down the ladder. This will be back into the sewers. To get the ink ribbons that we left behind so that we can actually go save. But this... They're talking like... You know, it had happened before that. Or maybe this is just at the same time. So, Billy, unfortunate for you, I think you're going to die. Because... You know, Chris doesn't save you. <laughs> Spoilers. Unless this is a, you know, alternate timeline, because as is the Resident Evil way, everything's alternate timelines. You know, everything has its own timelines. <laughs> you can be good narrator for the movie. Thank you. <laughs> The movie doesn't have a narrator, though, but... <laughs> but yeah, like, they are confusing their timelines. Like, if this is meant to be a prequel, I don't know, maybe we are converging onto 
the same points as the Resident Evil one at this point. I don't know. But <laughs> she lives and she helps Chris. This other guy, he's nowhere. He does not exist in that game. So, <laughs> you know... He is looking a little worse for wear as it is already, but he's definitely going to die. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up these ink ribbons first and keep them in one big pile. <laughs> he definitely dies. Just going to say, he's, he definitely has to... He's, there's no way that he lives if this is the original Resident Evil mansion and it's now converging timelines to the Resident Evil 1. <laughs> he does not exist. So well, he's definitely dead. Right, now to dump even more stuff on the floor. <laughs> right, ink ribbons. Leave those. I see some actual pistol bullets. So I'm going to just take those. Then we can actually do something that isn't use the knife. Maybe I should have picked all this stuff up before saving. It would have been smarter. <laughs> it would definitely have been smarter. What are you carrying? You are carrying a lot of stuff. Can I... It's a bit awkward, but... <laughs> I would like him to just drop the hook shot on the floor and stuff, and, you know, then he can do some stuff, right? Like, leave that on the floor. Leave the petrol on the floor, honestly. It's not like you're necessarily going to use it. And I'm just going to leave him with no ammo. <laughs> as awkward as it is for now. Pick up. Ironically, we're picking it up to maybe just drop it on the floor again, but... Right. Combine with the other herbs. But... As long as it's in a nice, neat pile <laughs> of pre-combined herbs, it'll be fine. Right. This is the room with all of the stuff. <laughs> Remember that. It's the nice room with literally all of the stuff in it. <laughs> How did the rounds go? Hopefully good. This is a different mansion. Or... <laughs> It just changed the layout of it. Because <laughs> that would have been a big open room if it was the original mansion. These are some very clean sinks for Resident Evil. Probably broken. Because <laughs> Resident Evil likes the dirty sinks. Of course, the urinals are looking a little worse for wear. There's going to be a zombie in the toilets and you know it. Also, <laughs> like that one's just missing its door entirely smashed up. More petrol. You what? It's supposed to combine with his lighter. <laughs> Can't carry this now. Right, you just eat that. Or can you carry it? You can just carry it. Right, you are luggage mule. <laughs> Zombies like to go to the toilets too. Exactly. That guy came out the sink or something and was having... Some sort of issue by the <laughs> mirror. But it's Resident Evil. It's the early ones. More often than not, just run past them. Don't try. <laughs> you know, if they're doing something like that, just leave them to it. It's not like we're going to need to go anywhere. Not like we're going to need to go back in there anytime soon or anything. We grabbed all the loose out of it. Okay, Mr. Jangly Legs is still following us. <laughs> he's been to the toilets and now he's... Coming and chilling out. He's just a friend. He's not even attacking us. He's just being Mr. Jangly Legs. You no? Here. Yeah. Good old Mr. Jangly Legs. I don't think I want him to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Is Mr. Jangly Legs meant to be scary? <laughs> Are we supposed to be fighting him? Hmm. Because we haven't been up the stairs, there's no up the stairs. There's literally nothing else in the toilets there. We're probably meant to go upstairs first, but hey ho. 
I don't know why his legs run backwards and he was just jiggling them, but... <laughs> Having a pistol equipped might have been useful now that we've got bullets in it. <laughs> Having the pistol equipped might have been a bit more useful. Right, I'm going to check out the upstairs first, I think, rather than deal with those two zombies. <laughs> And I think Mr. Jangly Legs was this guy as well. But <laughs> he didn't seem too menacing, honestly. Two lovers at play. Well, it looked like there were a lot more than two people in that picture. <laughs> I'll just say that. It looked a bit more than two lovers at play. Picture of a lady. Painting of a horse galloping across the land. Very old faces. So these small trace rashless. If only someone had a lighter and could light the thing, sir. So. The crows are gonna come flying in and eat us. Of course they are. Document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level five and will be held in the following locations: first floor west operations room, second floor southeast meeting room. 8.15 is the entry code. Let me guess, I don't have room to pick up this item. You can't carry this item! <laughs> Do you have room, partner? Can I...? I can! Okay, you... carry... this. All of this, Mr. Mule. And I'll take the loot. <laughs> crank handle. I haven't seen anything that needs cranking. Of course the crows come flying it. <laughs> that specific moment. Of course. I heard them. But we're not going to fight the crows. The crows in the original games were the worst thing to deal with. The worst. Okay, some scales. Something written on base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Okay, so we need to find good and evil, and it probably unlocks this. No! Okay, the door is already unlocked. It's a different mansion. <laughs> it's definitely a different mansion. A courtroom with another save point? Okay. Those zombies, but there's... Oh, this is more like a presidential podium. Please insert the system disc. Okay. There's some shotgun shells over there. Ironically, this stuff isn't telling us that the items exist. Why are you staring at the wall? Paint a bit screw people eating a dining room. They're all glaring at each other. A lot of people stand at the castle, wailing in grief. Interesting. Take the shotgun ammo. Boring ribbons, but we can't carry them. Of course we can't. We can never carry them. They're marked on the map. <laughs> so I'll leave them there. We don't need them. If they're right next to the thing, that's the perfect place for them. Pick some mob people branching weapons under blue and cloudless sky. Does it, though? Does that look like a blue and cloudless sky with people brandishing weapons? It looks like the two lovers in the middle that was literally the other picture. Um, some guy on a chariot, a god above with a very cloudy, windy sky. And the big evil mouse in a robe going like that. It's literally a mouse -o. What's this one to pick? Two lovers! <laughs> Multitude of people fighting in a war, okay. That's believable, because that is someone on horseback and things. Like, you know, it fits. This is a group of people in front of a church. A band of revolutionaries, I can believe that. Artist scaffolding, perhaps someone was restoring the painting. Um, okay, the knight swords firmly lock the door. That must be the path that opens when we've, you know, good and evil, right? <laughs> Locked from the other side, as is always the case. 
I, you could literally just pick up their swords and unblock them, but... <laughs> no, we need to solve a puzzle to do this. Of course, we can't just take it. I hear zombies. An old painting. It speaks a baby and old young woman and old woman. I don't have any spare pistol bullets to give you, actually, Billy. I would have split some for you, but... Billy! Like, it's a shame I can't tell him to equip his knife. You know? Okay. You equip your knife. Right, let's change back. Okay, now will you at least knife the enemies? No, he'll just stand there with a the knife. Okay, no, he is doing something. Right, we're gonna have to like ammo preservation mode this. <laughs> Billy, you're not that useful. Like, I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> you are so useless, Billy. You are so useless. <laughs> Danger, yeah. Because Billy really didn't help. Like he just stood there until we were being attacked rather than doing something rather than helping you would rather attack okay you use that you give me this so that i don't die and you can honestly hold on to that until we need it Honestly, just keep hold of that. <laughs> but really, you should have been swiping at the zombie with your knife. That would have been pretty handy, you know. You could have helped in that situation. Old paintings on the wall. All of them depict women. Collection of female statues. Doesn't seem to be anything special about them. The locked door. I don't know, they look heroic. <laughs> They're probably relevant. <laughs> okay, let's go. But yeah, he really should have been swiping out that zombie earlier. Maybe the way is to make him get eaten and then we swipe. Microfilm A. We're not going to have room for all this loot there. The old man is holding the candle in his hands. The light will guide you to the greater truth. Okay. And that actually did fit the picture, and it is like do a special cutscene for it as well. So I guess we need to handle this burnt out. If only you had a lighter, mate. If only he doesn't have petrol light. Okay, this is um Billy, you're in the way. Map of this place, right? Perfect. Okay. And then, of course, there's an underground laboratory. <laughs> Third floor? Well, it looks like a secret lab of some sort. Quite a big mansion. <laughs> hey, the training facility map. Quite a big mansion. You don't have room for this. It's fine. We don't need anything else. <laughs> Just some ink ribbons. At least we know that it's there if we need it. Aha! Something that needs a crank. Well, I'll just stand on this and like Let's split up. Okay. I need you to stand back on that. Without me changing back onto you. Because I've got this crank. Oh, it's a switch control for the list. It a uh, phony, we had a crank. Because she's probably not strong enough to do that, right? <laughs> It'll probably be like, I'm too weak. I can't operate this.
Hello, cockroach monster. <laughs> this gear must be part of the... No. Doesn't seem to be anything. Just... I'm trying to pick up the bullets. Nothing special about these gears. There's some pistol rounds right there. There we go. You can't carry this now anyway, because you've got too much loot in your hands. Fine. Just leave the cockroaches behind. <laughs> Gotta go now. Have a happy stream. No worries. Thank you for popping by. I appreciate you coming by and keeping me company. Have fun at work, and I'll catch you again soon. And yeah, you have a lovely rest of your day too. I'm probably going to finish up soon as well anyway. So, you know, <laughs> I tend to normally only stream for like two hours. That crow is just waiting for us. And it literally read at us. Okay, she's a lot more accurate than anyone else in Resident Evil. She can just shoot the crows in one shot. <laughs> I don't want to waste bullets. I think they're out of range, but there's still another crow. I can hear it. <laughs> but she can actually hear the crows, which is... I'll carry this right now. A miracle. Although I spoke too soon. <laughs> I don't think she can hit the crows anymore. I think she just got very lucky with the one shot. <laughs> no worries, take care and I'll see you around. Happy New Year if I don't see you. Yeah, she cannot hit the crows. <laughs> she hit one! <laughs> Couldn't hit any others when we wasted all of her bullets, so... Back to the knife! <laughs> Because she wouldn't pick up those goddamn cockroach bullets. She would not pick them up. Okay, we've got more crank handles. Machine has finished winding the chain. Okay, machine for winding the chain. Start machine. <laughs> no way for Rebecca to move it. That's clearly what it was going to say on the bottom thing, right? It's like... <laughs> She can't do this. She's too weak. Okay, that's locked. What's down the stairs? A back way in. Okay, right. I mean, there's clearly a ladder down to something as well, but that's some very steep ass stairs, aren't they? This isn't the door that we wanted to go through. I think we wanted to go to the other one at the end of the hall and, like, let the friend back out. More cockroaches! <laughs> More gigantic cockroaches! I don't know how dangerous they are, but... Okay, the door is now unlocked. We can go collect a friend over and be like, hey, you need to pull this crank. I'm sure they will do something nice for us. Or not. Um, <laughs> right, so this is back down to here. Okay. We just need to find our way back to him, and then we can do it. <laughs> so, all the way around there. And there won't be new zombies in the way or anything. It, it definitely won't have filled the entire mansion with cockroaches. <laughs> Why would it have done that? Like, why would there suddenly be more danger now that it's introduced cockroaches? I don't think we've got the ammo. Hi. I knew it. God damn it. We cleared this way out. <laughs> She's probably going to die trying to stab this guy. Seriously? I mean, I guess knifing a zombie to death isn't smart! <laughs> She's dead. You are dead. Well, that's the first death of the game. <sighs> but yeah, that is where I'm going to call it a day. We'll be back next week with more. But I'll also be back on Friday. So have a nice rest of your week until then. And I will catch you all again soon. Bye, 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 bye.